Alright. Ah, oh, jeez. Alright, this friggin' branch needs to go. I keep whacking my head on it. Oh. I mean, for that whole thing to come off, I guess it's dead. Oh, good firewood. Not what I'm doing right now, though. What I'm doing is this. Hopefully my pipes are still lined up. Come on, stay on the track. Oh, hit the edge. All right. Screw up my track for a minute. Oh wait, no, I can move this over. Maybe. No. All right, fine. I'll just move this. There we go. Jeez, I keep ducking here, but I don't have to duck. This thing is so tall. Oh, you don't have to duck. Don't duck. Okay. Yay. All right. What is that? Oh. Really? Where'd you get up? Come on, brakes. Where's the brakes? Okay, at some point, I'll get these little track pieces leveled with some concrete under them. Just like, kind of like, uh, well, I'm still ducking. Why am I ducking? I don't have to duck under this thing. It's super high. Yeah. Yeah, kind of like railway tracks. But I don't need things that go all the way across. I just need like a circle there, a circle there, a circle there, a circle there. With it all leveled out. Right width apart. Make them nice and... Yeah. I guess I could do that today. Uh, what do I do? Do I want to do that today? I don't know. Maybe. Oh, oh look at the little boat. Man, what a cool... Oh, this is so good. Oh, this is so good. Once upon a time, Jamie dreamed of living on a little island with a lumber mill? What? Oh, yeah. I think it's lunchtime. Maybe while I'm eating lunch, I'll think about what goes up here. On one side, I want to put some solar panels that were Powell... <laughs> 
that will power a lumber mill. And on the other side, I'm thinking just some stainless steel sheet metal. And that stuff, I'll probably just use full sheets, just in case I want to take them off and do something else with them in the future. Oh, and you know what I just realized? I need the saw to start at that end and cut this way. Which is totally fine, I can go either way. Um, but I, I'd always just been imagining it starting here and cutting that way, but if I bring the logs up, wait a minute, maybe I won't bring them this way. No, maybe, maybe this path keeps going gradually, gradually, because this part gets a little steeper. Yeah, I have that path right there, right down there, yeah, that path there. That's where I can bring the logs up. It's a nice gradual slope, should be easy to get them up. And I can have them keep going up and then just come in that way. That That's probably why I was thinking it would always start at this end. Yeah, that, yeah, of course, obviously, obviously that's what I, another stupid thing I just realized. So I keep looking down here to check that the wheel is on the track, you know, centered just right. But obviously I can just look down these things. See, there it is, right down there. Yep, right on the track. Beauty. All right, so I have a whole bunch of this fiberglass stuff that's uh, stacked up beside my house. It's kind of in the way and irritating and annoying. I took it off a boat because I was changing the roof, whatever. This is the second boat I've changed the roof on recently. Uh, anyway. There are these big panel things that used to have solar panels attached to them. And oh, I'm, I'm using them as roof shingles, giant shingles, like giant roof tiles. I think those are great. I'll probably want to paint them again at some point. And uh, it's funny, this, this whole frame here was the roof of one boat. And these things are the roof from another boat. And then all these things were the roof of the houseboat. <laughs> All my boat roofs are going into this. That's great though. I wanted to use them for something cool. But those look like they are going to be excellent. And over here, since these didn't quite reach to this, you know, I just put an extra piece in there. Oh, I like it under here. This is oh, so shady. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, there's a solar panel. And right up there where the tile, the panels, whatever, meet the solar panel, I might just run some caulk, some silicone caulking down the, the crack there. So it'll be, you know, super waterproof. Oh, I might not even need it. Yeah, I'll probably do it at some point anyway. Because it would be nice if it was totally drip free in here. And then I wouldn't have to worry about, you know, lumber mill parts getting wet or anything. And then, you know, there's some holes drilled that were for, that was, that were for um, wires to come through. And I can put some, some caulking in those. I do have an extra tube of silicone caulking in my house too. Well, anyway. I don't have to worry about that right now. I'm just going to get the rest of this stuff up. Oh, you know, it's funny about this. It looks kind of a little bit ramshackle, which I don't mind. I think it's cute. Especially since it's a lumber mill. It's a working zone. I don't want it all fancy and pretty. I want it a little beat up looking to start. But it's all made of fiberglass. So as long as I keep paint on it, this thing is going to last like a thousand years. I think that's pretty good for now. I think it's time to go eat some food. I hear egg sandwiches. Oh, I hear them. Oh, they're calling me. And there's my firewood. Yes. <laughs>